what is your name and the school you are Okay, my name is Stephanie Brunel and I'm with the Milken Institute School of Public Health. And what is your research topic on? I research genital urinary paragangliomas using the SEER database. Genital urinary paragangliomas are rare neuroendocrine tumors that arise throughout the human body. Um, and what we were trying to do was to determine the incidence rates and the survival rates of individuals with this particular type of tumor, focusing specifically on the genital urinary tract. And what is your key findings Sure. So with our research, we found that between the years of 2000 and 2012, about 300 cases of paraganglioma were reported to the SEER database. Um, of those, 20 developed within the GU tract. Um, the most common site of development was actually the urinary bladder, followed by the kidneys and then the spermatic cord. Um, most of these cancers or tumors are treated with uh, surgery and lymph node dissection, and none of them are treated with radiation. The mean age of development was about 40 years, um, and survival at five years is about 100%. Cancer-specific survival is about 100%. Um, overall survival is about 93%, and compared to paraganglioma that develops outside of the GU tract, it actually has much better survival. What was your experience being part of this research? I had a really good time. Um, I got to work with the National Cancer Institute, so that was huge. I uh, didn't know that being in the MPH program was going to give me that opportunity, but I was glad that I had it. Um, I was working with, you know, big wigs, like people who do research that gets published all over the place, so having the opportunity to meet with them and get mentorship, that was great. Um, learning how to use a large cancer registry, the SEER database, was also really great. Um, we had a little bit of an introduction to the SEER database in a class here at GW in the public health school, um, but actually applying what we learned in that class to my project was, uh, it was interesting, and now I feel like I'm fluent, so it was, it took some time, but it was definitely a worthwhile experience. I, I loved it. I learned a lot. Thank you.